guys, it's Mark. I just wanted to sit down and like do my makeup and chat to you guys. To be honest, like, you know on my YouTube that I'm not as open as a lot of YouTubers are in terms of like sharing so much of their life. I very much keep it very one step, two step, like I'm making a beauty video, like I'm doing a haul, I'm not really showcasing like my personal life in that way but um i will share this i'm gonna put this wig on by the way you guys i'm at home right now and i don't have like my wig heads or anything like literally like the supplies are very low so i'm using <laughs> kitchen roll as my wig head i literally styled this hair on this i want to talk about my thoughts on me dressing up to put it bluntly like I see myself as a cross-dresser and for a really, really long time, I kind of was not at peace with that. Like, I was like, no, like, I'm not a cross-dresser, I'm just Mark, whatever, whatever. Because, to be honest, like, cross-dressers kind of, like, have a bad flag. For me, is like, an extension of myself and I feel powerful either way, regardless if I'm dressed up as a man or dressed up as a woman. I feel good either way, I have that confidence. But obviously like the connotations of a crossdresser is highly sexualized and um, I don't see myself as a trans woman and I don't see myself as a drag queen, so where do I put you? Like where, where in the scale are you? If you really wanna put it into words, yeah, yeah I'm a crossdresser and I just see myself as a dude, I do see myself as a man in my heart, like, I'm a dude, I don't have body dysmorphia, I don't have any of that. I'm not gonna glue this book down, you guys, because I'm literally just filming this video. Now that I've just said that, I just want to talk about how, kind of, I live my life and how my life kind of takes place. Sometimes I go to work in trousers, my boy hair, everything, calm, easy. And then sometimes I go into work or go on about my day to day, whether I'm on a, I'm on a day off or not, dressed up. Like, I feel confident either way. That's not just in the night time, that's on the daytime as well. Like, I really don't care. Like, I feel confident enough being a boy that I can dress up as a woman and I can dress up as a man. Like, I think I'm a handsome boy. You know what I mean? I'm not ugly. Like, I don't see myself as that. And people think, oh my gosh, like, you're so brave, Mark, to, like, do what you do, and you're so confident and everything. I don't find it hard. I would find it harder to pretend to not be myself than that would mean me not being true to myself. Do you know what I mean? Like, to me, it is not hard to dress up. If people call me out and clock me when I'm a woman and say that I'm a man, it's well, how am I going to be offended? Because I know the truth. I have accepted it within myself that I am a dude. Um, so I don't feel that kind of like dysphoria of like presenting as a woman because I'm not a woman. You know what I mean? I don't know how it feels for, let's say, like a trans person. I don't, I, like, I don't feel that way. Like, my experience is completely different to that. My experience is also completely different from, let's say, a drag queen. Because I don't see myself as that. I don't work in the circuit. I don't work as a performer. I'm literally doing this because it's, like, what I want to do. I don't know any person that does what I do. Like, I don't have any friends that, like, has that kind of same or similar experiences. I have gay friends, I have trans friends, I have drag queen friends, I have straight friends, but they don't like do what I do. They don't cross dress, like they don't like go out in daytime just feeling their oats and feeling the fantasy the way that I do. Uh, my experience is like really, really unique in that way. I do have pet peeves. Let's say, um, Comments that are made sometimes make me feel a bit like, well, it's kind of devaluing a little bit. For example, I have a problem in terms of like my reaction when people compliment me all day every day dressed up as a girl and then the next day coming up as a boy and then they're like, oh, like, why don't you have your red hair on today? Or why don't you have your lashes on? Or why don't you, why don't you have your long legs out? And I just think like, but me as a boy is as much worth as I am when I'm dressed up. Like, if you're gonna like me, 
and you're gonna treat me well, me with long 613 hair on, you're gonna treat me well as a guy. I feel like people pick and choose, do you know what I mean? And you'll get attention all night from the guys if you go out on a night out as a girl. I I'll get it all night long and I feel good, I feel great. But then it makes me realise when I go out as a guy and then I get kind of like looked over upon, kind of like I'm just there. It's not the same. I mean, I get it in a way because like when I'm dressed up as a woman, it's like extravagant. It's like extraordinarily beautiful or whatever. I think I'm... I'm the handsome equivalent of that person because I am that person. People don't see that. People just very much see that kind of like facade almost. But the thing is, it's not a facade for me. It's not a character. Like, I don't put on a character. To me, it's all one thing. And people just don't get that. You know, in terms of dating, I think that's really, really, like, probably the hardest. I look crazy right now. Trust me, it will all come together at the end. So dating as a crossdresser can be, like, rough. It is rough, I get really frustrated with it. I don't get sad about it, I just get really pissed off or really, really angry. As I said before, a lot of guys will want to sleep with me, as a woman. As long as I've got it on, they're attracted to me. As soon as it comes off, then they're not attracted to me anymore. There is a fetish for men fetishizing over trans people and anyone who kind of presents themselves as a woman. I mean, you'll find it on grinder even you know trans or cd hit me up they want a woman or a woman serving figure to sleep with them so i'll get that online if like i'm on any dating sites i'll get that um in real life when i'm out it doesn't matter if i'm in the straight clubs or the gay clubs i will get hit on by um straighter men that kind of want to try that out. I have had sex with men who are straight, who identifies as straight. I do tell them that I'm not trans. I'm just like your run-of-the-mill cross-dresser, whatever, whatever. And bitch, like, just to be honest with y'all, like, I'm a top, period. Ain't nobody go going near my backside for no- for nothing. I mean, some of y'all probably gonna be shook about that. Oh, all those guys that you've slept with are gay. Like, they're denying it to themselves, they're gay. Try telling them that. Do you know what I mean? I'm just like, okay, cool. If that's how you identify, that's how you identify. A lot of these men that I have had encounters with, sexual encounters with or whatever as well, they talk to you before or after your sexual encounter. And they talk about their feelings. They talk about their emotions. They talk about um, it's kind of like therapy session almost. I'm like, okay, cool. They talk about um, why they're attracted to you. And it's kind of like they're almost trying to justify why they're there. They're like, oh, it's because you're like, you look like so good. Like, I'm not gay, by the way. I'm not gay. Like, I'm, 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 I'm straight. Like, after the fact that like, you just had sex with a boy. But, okay. A lot of boys do hide it within themselves if, like, they are attracted to one man and to, like, trans women or kind of like that cross-dresser, like, fantasy sort of thing. The thing that I have a problem with it is that I'll get hit up for people who want to sleep with me all day long. But no one will take me out on a date. No one will... There's a lot of people who won't, like take me out for dinner or they will ask me and they cancel like literally last minute and I'm there like but then they cancel I've had a lot of that so it's a bit peak it, it does really get to me because they wouldn't want to see me as a boy and it's like well if you don't really want to get to know me as a guy then what's the point in all of this? So it kind of does take a toll in terms of my confidence in dating. I want to date someone. I want someone to be 
serious with me, see me both as equally as attractive whether I'm dressed up as a boy, dressed up as a girl, in my friggin' pajamas, or if I'm in sexy clothes, or if I'm casual, or if I look smart, like, I want someone to be attracted to me, like, regardless of what I have got on my face, or my head, you know what I mean? Or if I've got a bra on, or if I've got boxes on, like, it really should not matter, and it's very much about face value at this point, it's literally that, it's literally just my face value. <laughs> and my body, what it looks like depending on the day. So, I wish there's like a gay man or a bisexual man out there who feels confident within themselves, who will feel confident enough to talk to me in a serious note and like want to date me. I have hope and I want to be proactive in terms of that because I'm not just a lay. I'm not just a lay, but that's how a lot of people have perceived me in the past. Um, I don't want to live like that forever. You know, I'm 25 now and considerably that's pretty young, but at the same time, like how long am I really going to do this thing of just kind of like living my best life, let's go out and like go on the pool. I want to not just be a number and I don't want these guys who I end up sleeping with to just be a number. I want to be taken seriously and I want to take guys seriously. It's hard when you know they don't they don't show themselves as being a serious candidate because a lot of them aren't serious candidates and you kind of have to filter that out and just in general dating is hard. Oh, I needed to ch charge my camera a little bit. It was heating up. It's really, really hot today. Look at my Jeffree Star mirror. I rhinestoned it. Isn't it pretty? I actually ordered a bunch of lashes from Kitty Lash. So these ones are Lily. So I'm going to be putting the Lily ones. Yeah, I'm going to put hair glue on my eyes. Yeah, you know what? Coming out of lockdown, obviously, like, words don't mean anything unless you take action. But my plan is that after the lockdown, once everybody is back to some sort of normal um i'm going to be more mindful of the people that i talk to the people that are interested in me obviously you figure out people's intentions in that way and try and see if a man is brave enough to be with me to take me out on a date like small small you know what i mean i'm not i'm not gonna ask for the world like that you know what i mean i just you know, small little steps, baby steps. So obviously all of you know that people earn money off of YouTube. Now, my um, partnership with my company that I was with, the networking company that I was with has shut down. Um, this happened before the lockdown had started, which means my monetization got taken away. I have to accumulate a certain amount of watch public hours before I can get back into monetization, which means I'm actually not earning anything from my YouTube videos, which is like really, really discouraging. I know it's gonna get back up to that point at some point, but right now I'm not earning anything from YouTube. So it's like, well, yeah, it is, it is really shitty. It's really shitty because like, I've worked so hard over the years for my YouTube channel and for all of that to just cut like come into a halt it's like it's really it's really peace so if you want to keep my channel running until i get these views back up if i ever get them back then um my paypal me is down below so that you can tip me and if it is your first time watching me right now then please go ahead and subscribe. I'm not as big as these other youtubers but i think that my channel is incredible and i make good quality content so and I think I'm pretty cool I'm pretty down go ahead and subscribe hit the notification bell button and if you are a returning subscriber but first of all thank you so much because like there's not very many like subscribers that do go ahead and watch my YouTube anymore and like I can say that without feeling some type of way about it that's just the way it is 
if you are a loyal subscriber, if you can go ahead and like share this on your Twitter or your Snapchat, like my just my channel in general, I'd actually really, really appreciate it, like from the bottom of my heart, because it's not easy out here, like trying to get the recognition that I used to have, because I don't have that anymore, you know what I mean? I don't have these luxuries, I don't, I don't, you know, my partnership's been taken away from like my network company. Yeah. Just to be truthful, you know, these things like I won't usually talk about, but let's talk about it right now. To like basically conclude on like the whole dating thing, you know, I don't want to be a secret. I don't want to be a fetish. I don't want to be fetishized. I'm still a person at the end of the day, as much as I have like a hard exterior, um, I'm still a person, like obviously like with emotions. I'm not just a thing that you know, you can have for a few hours, give me that attention for a few hours and then leave? Or I leave or you ask, like, no. I've been that person for so long that's kind of like, I am kind of like that fetish. You see them, you talk to them, you meet them and they're like so nervous around you because they feel like they shouldn't be attracted to you, that they shouldn't like you and they shouldn't talk to you. To be honest, like if people had the same mentality as I did, then it would be so much easier like, for me, my mentality is, like, if I'm attracted to someone, I'm attracted to someone, whether that be a girl or a boy, whether, whether that the man be masculine or feminine, like, if I'm attracted to them, that's it. Like, there's no kind of thinking, oh, am I this, am I that? Like, for a long time, I thought I was just gay, but dabbling in into sort of, like, getting older or whatever, I have, like, dabbled into women. I have obviously, like, been with men. I'm like airing my shit out, out here and I'm being as vulnerable as I can because I don't get to show that with you guys. I just wanted to let you know. This is my this is my tea, this is my truth, and this is my channel. I'm gonna talk what I'm talking about. And if you guys have a problem with that, then that's absolutely fine. You don't obviously have to watch this video. But yeah, like if people didn't give so much care about like, oh what about what about like Karen's gonna think of me, what about, what is my brother gonna think of me, like, unless you actually live that life, whether you can say, as a man, that you're attracted to another man, or whether you're attracted to trans women, or, or, or cross-dressers, da, da 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 then you're not gonna be able to live your life. Let's be honest, like, I dress up, yeah, for my own accord, but, like, who's really playing dress up here? Am I being the one that's a fake person? Or are you being a fake person for not living your life as true as it can be? Because I'm out here, like, enjoying my life, but there's people out there that hide certain aspects of themselves to protect themselves, absolutely. And I get that. But you can't live your life to the fullest if you're hiding certain aspects of your life. Just, like, being attracted to... People like me, a lot of people get shocked. A lot of people are like, whoa, what is going on? Like, no, like that can't be happening, da 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 da. And I just think to myself, well, well, it is. It is happening. For my gloss, I'm gonna be using the Revolution Pout Bomb in Candy. This is a beautiful lip gloss. So guys, that is basically it. I hope that you enjoyed me just rambling on. I know this video is kind of like I was jumping back and forth in topics, but if you guys enjoy these types of videos a lot more than let's say makeup tutorials step by step, let me know down below and I can just kind of like talk to you guys a little bit more. As I mentioned before, you can tip me at PayPal me. So the link will be down below. That's pretty much it you guys. Comment down below about your dating experiences or kind of your opinions on what I talked about, and bye guys, love you.